Hello everybody. Welcome back to How to Build a B-1 Bomber. I got my plywood in today and uh, I'm starting to put cut my panels and uh, I got these things cut and fitting perfect. I mean just perfect. And uh, that'll look real nice. You know I don't want no big old gaps in there that's just going to look bad. So I got a I got a way to make them perfect size and it's real simple I'm going to show you guys. I got my cardboard tube in there and I had to drill that kind of oversized just to get it in there you know and there's that angle and stuff so uh, I'm going to show you how to fill that gap too. I'm going to use my cotton flock. You can see that cotton flock in action. I love that stuff. But this is my uh, side in the back here. I kind of got it started. I got three sides cut. You know you only really need to cut uh, one side flush. You can leave a little bit of a gap on the other side. Makes it a little easier. So you don't have to cut it, you know, perfect all the way around. This last one here, and I got that bead on that bulkhead. So I need to kind of put a little bit of a radius on there. And uh, just put it right there. And I just take, take my hot glue gun. Uh, we better not glue that top one yet. And uh, get her glued. Gonna use my clamps to hold hold them all. And that one goes there. And we're going to put it there. Clamp one. And you just let that cool off a little bit and then you're ready to transfer it to your wood. Now my wood, I'm oh, sorry, I was looking for something. My wood I ordered the in grain like that with the grain up and down. I got this at a Lone Star Balsa and uh, these uh, 12 by 24 sheets was like three bucks. I about fell over when they told me that was only three dollars. I paid that cost you 20 bucks in the hobby store. But I ordered enough to do it. And this is this was my front one. After I, you know, got it all glued together, I just came, transferred it onto a piece of wood, went over there, cut it out, little wheel and had to round the corners a little bit. And uh got it to fit real nice. And uh show you guys something else. I got in my air cylinder today. They're all them air cylinders I told you I ordered. There they are. Got these things for four bucks a piece. Four dollars. I mean, you can't beat that. I mean, they're nice little air cylinders. What you got to look out for where you tie the money up is your ends. Now you can get just your nipples, you know, like them. They're they're a little bit cheaper. But I happen to have some of these Dad had left over off the landing gear and these are the ones I like you know because they bend you can your tube will be nice and neat you can put them where you want and uh, they're going to they're going to work awesome and uh, but I got these oh. <laughs> fine. surplus center www surplus center dot com and man they have they have got every kind of air cylinder you could imagine. There's a big old snowplow cylinder for 69 bucks. It's another single actin plow. So I don't know what that means, but the single actin I know has got a spring on one side. See, they've even got them to where this is a double acting, which means it's got a, a two air valves. They got a single action that is spring loaded that way. And a single action that is spring loaded that way. So it's, you know, you only need air to push it one way. And they have them both. So you got to be careful when you're ordering these things. 
I, you know, just, this is a double actin. Uh, I believe that's 3 8 I think I told you guys 5 8 last time. But I think the bore is 3 8 with a 2 inch stroke. And uh, that's just, that's perfect to work all my gear doors, all my bomb bay doors, and everything. And they're small so they won't take up too much air. See, that's the problem if you get them big old air cylinders. It takes too much air to cycle the system where these won't take very much. But I got me a whole slew of them and uh, four dollars each and they got a bunch more but I tell you what I need a I need like 40 of these if anyone out there has got the hook up on these little festo things here send me a message uh, I'd appreciate it I need like 40 of them and uh, oh, I'm trucking right along now I'm going to show you how to what the, about this cotton flock okay I love this cotton flock. Let me make sure I got you viewed in there. So you can see. But I got me I got me some resin already mixed up. Okay. Now I'm just gonna add some of this cotton flock. And it don't take as much as you would think. It actually takes less than like regular micro balloons and stuff. And like I say, in it it makes it not run everywhere. Them cotton fibers really hold everything together good but see it, it, it don't take it don't take much at all to really firm that epoxy up and this just keeps it from really running all over inside your fuselage you know but this works awesome for gluing in bulkheads and fiberglass fuselages it's nice and neat and it's strong and it'll fill a little it'll fill a gap you know, and, and uh, fill it nicely, and you won't have to re go over it. Oh, doggone it, I should have put my tape on there first. I was going to show you guys how to do that, but I'm going to have to do this backwards. But that's all right. We'll get by. I'll have to put my tape on there first. See, I just take, that's how I usually do it. Take my tape, put it on there, then tear that page off, put it there, and then put my resin on there. But this way it works. And then just kind of fold it over like so. And this is real neat. And uh, you don't get epoxy everywhere. And just kind of tear the end of that off just a little bit. Man, there's your pastry bag full of epoxy. I ain't got no epoxy on my fingers. And that's uh, just real neat, clean, and easy. Okay. Now, I want to put this in there. All I got to do is come in here and put me just a super nice bead of epoxy in there. Get this side. Bam! It's done. Now, if I want to, I'm going to show you guys about my glove trick. So you, when you when you want to when you're going to get your finger dirty, you don't want to put on a whole glove. Just uh, cut, a, cut a finger off your rubber glove, and that gives you five gloves. Then you can just come in here like that and clean up your glue joint a little. And now that will not run. I can come back here an hour later, and it'll just be just like that. Be nice and set up, and got a nice looking glue joint. Then you just take and peel that off. Throw it in the trash, and there you go. Now I can come in here and glue that, glue that piece in there, and you will not believe how strong that will make this fuselage. Just that light ply. Standing up crane that sack. That Lodestar balsa will uh, send you any 
any way you want that 